I don't understand. Is your mother the devil or she's not the devil? She is the devil. So your mother is the devil because she's white. Yeah, she's she's the devil because of the men that she descends from. <laughs> and would I be wrong if I wish death to the white race? Of course not. So would I be wrong if I wish death to your mother? No. So would I be wrong if I killed your mother? No. Come on, man. What the hell is this, man? <laughs> See, see, right. All right, Shalom, Shalom, we'll give all praises to Abinahu, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashak, El Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Peace and blessings to all the blood ones, baptizing the covenant for remission of sins. And as you beloveds can see, man, you know, I'm tweaking on uh, <laughs> this old video, which is an old video of uh, Polite and um, Gorilla Hebrew going at it about. They're really Hebrew saying it's okay for, for uh, you know, polite to wish death against his mother and uh, that his mother is the devil and basically that he does not have to honor his mother, which this is totally against what? The Torah for uh, Sakari to be teaching this, man, which I don't know if he switched up today or not, but this is going off according to the law and testament according to the new covenant man all right so uh you know teaching that it's okay to hate your your mother because she's not an israelite is complete nonsense man all right sarah wasn't a damn israelite but what uh the beloved still had to honor their mother man rebecca wasn't an israelite Rebecca was not an Israelite. So do we not honor Rebecca because she's not an Israelite? See, it's nonsense, man. All right. So, you know, this is what happened, man. A lot of these groups teach people what? To hate people, man. All right. And hold grudges, man. For, for uh, things that they had no control of, man. You know what I'm saying? Teaching people what? To hate uh, and be what? Racist, man. Basically, teaching to be racist, man. Because in the kingdom, all that racism shit is done away with, man. You had Israelites coming from uh, all various type of tongues and languages, man. And Gentiles, man. You had Greeks that came to keep the feast, man. It's nonsense, man. Paul told King Agrippa... I would that thou were a Christian, man. You don't have to be a racist Israelite uh, teaching, you know, this uh, Black Panther, Black Power doctrine, man. You can be peaceful with all men. You don't have to be a racist YouTube Israelite. See, this is what YouTube and taught a lot, a lot of Israelites to be racist and uh, hate uh, other nations, man, and be racist towards them. When all throughout the scriptures, our people what dealt with various nations for for what uh trade and things of that nature all right and we're friendly to him i mean job had an edomite friend man job didn't wish death on his edomite friend man he actually what prayed for his friends man and offered sacrifice for him so this is ridiculous to be teaching the world man that it's okay to dishonor your mother if she's not an israelite man that's wickedness, man. And every Israelite in the scripture's mother wasn't an Israelite. So, do you wish death on, on you know, on all the other Israelites whose mothers wasn't Israelite? It's wild, man. I mean, even Moses' children wasn't Israelites, man. Their mother wasn't, I mean, Moses' uh, mother wasn't an Israelite. I mean, Moses' uh, children, mothers, like it. Even Moses' children, mother was not an uh, Israelite. See that? Zipporah wasn't an Israelite. The Ethiopian woman was an Israelite. So do Moses' sons, do they dishonor their, their mother? I mean, it's confusion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is total... Confusion. The law comes from Moses, man. Moses' children, their mother is not an Israelite. So did, did Moses teach his children to not honor their mother 
because they were Ethiopians and uh and and Midianites like Zipporah. Moses ain't teach his children to dishonor their parents, so it's wicked as hell, bro. So Moses, man, he had a Midianite wife, and he didn't teach his children to what dishonor their mother, man, because she's a Midianite. Israelites had problems with Midian. Matthew chapter 15, verse 4. Matthew chapter 15, verse 4. For God commanded, not saying a beloved. All right, no, I, you an old covenant Pharisee. For God commanded, saying what? Honor thy father and mother. Do what? Honor thy father and mother. And he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death, man. So the Lord is basically saying, man, if you don't honor your father and mother, man, you should be destroyed, man. This is out of the, the Mashiach's own words, man. All right? And he's telling you, God commanded that thing, man, that will you honor your father and mother. He's out there teaching the new covenant, man, teaching the laws and commandments, man. Mm -hmm. The faith in what? Them commandments, man. He's teaching it. All right? The scriptures tell you, man, he that come with the, to God is taught of Yahweh Shai. So, you know, this is insane, man, to teach what? Don't honor your, your mother because she, she she's not an Israelite, right? When what? Moses never taught that in the law. He never said, well, don't honor your mother if she's not an Israelite. Midian were Israelites, man. Moses' wife, Zipporah, her people were not Israelites. Moses didn't tell his children. There's no precepts in the Torah where Moses told his children, hey, man, don't honor your mother because she descended from Midian, man. That ain't in there, bro. All right? And in the scriptures, Moses and them took uh, wives from Midian in uh, Numbers, man. Okay, they took them as captive wives, man, in Numbers, I believe. So, you know, the Lord never said, you know, don't honor your mother because she's a Gentile. Okay, the Gentiles got to honor their mother, mother and father too, man. Even the animals do that, man. This is, these are nature laws, man. A lot of, some laws are just natural laws, man. It's just natural law to honor your mother and your father. Even the animals do that, man. So how much more uh, Israelite, okay? But your mother still had to what? Pop you out pop you up out of that thing, man. You wouldn't even be, uh, what, doing YouTube, but none of that without the Lord, what, using that woman to bring you forth into this flesh, man. So it would be wise to, what, honor your mother. Matthew 15 and 6, and it was says, and honor not his father or mother, he shall be free. Thus you have made the commandment of God of none effect by your traditions. So that's what the Pharisees was doing. They were having their various traditions on why they didn't have to what honor their mother and father coming up with what excuses man through what tradition man and that's what jake do they make excuses through their traditions mark 10 and 19 thou knowest the commandments man do not commit adultery do not kill do not steal do not bear false witness defraud not honor thy father and mother man the lord never said well if your mother's not an Israelite, you don't have to honor her. Where did Yahweh Shai ever say that? And where did Moses ever say that, man? It's not in there, bro. Luke 18 and 20, thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. And honor thy father and thy mother, man. It's simple. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Children, obey your parents and the Lord. For this is right. No, this is this is wrong. For this is right. No, nah, my my mother, the devil. For this is right, man. So you're supposed to what? Obey your parents, man, in the Lord, right? Your parents that what? Are in the Lord, man. For this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, man. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest what? 
uh, live long on the earth, man. So he said, obey your parents, man, and the Lord, man. Okay? Especially what? Coming up under them as a, as a child, man. You obey your parents when you're under their roof. All right? And when, what, when you uh, you grow up, man, you still what? Honor your mother and your parent, man. It's, it's right, man. Okay? Your mother and your parent were the what? Vessels used to bring you into this thing, man. So what? You ought to honor your parents, man. That's wicked as shit, man, to what? Uh, dishonor your parents and uh, put them down, man. You're supposed to what? Uplift your parents. Even if your parents fall short, man, you don't uh, add evil unto evil because of their shortcomings, man. Lift your parents up, man. Sometimes your parents need to be uh, loved and lifted up as well, man. So what? You still got to honor your parents, man. Moses never taught his children to dishonor their parents and what? They definitely wasn't, uh, they definitely, uh, mother wasn't Israelites, man. So with that, shout out. Oh my goodness, man. Noah, I fuck my mama because she ain't an Israelite. You niggas is crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And then I said that if if Polite killed his mother, he wouldn't be wrong for that, man. Gorilla Hebrew, bro, you out your fucking mind for that, man. That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. Z. That's insane, man. He wouldn't be wrong for that if he did harm to your mother, man. That's insane, man. That's heavy, man. <laughs> that is heavy. The most I said don't vex the stranger in the law, man. So guess what? The strangers got to honor their mother too, man. So that's crazy, bro. You really, you really bugging out, man. But hey, man. No, I fuck my mama, man. She ain't Israelite. <laughs>